Oh, yes, sir. It's the new movement live. DJ Drewski. I'm in the mix. The mayor, Capella Gray's in the building. Yes, sir. We here. Fresh um, off that plane from Miami. He was running around going crazy. Yeah. The, whole, the whole gang was out there. Yeah, I look like the family outside. It's a lot going on. A lot going on. Lot he going was playing on. some, you know, some tunes right before we got on here. He said, I got the winter, too. Yeah, yeah. It's looking like year to Gallus. All right, we're we, we, we going to get into that, but I ain't going to lie. I got excited, right? Because I DJ Fabio Foreign's set for Rolling Loud. Yeah. But the, right before his set was like Sunday, but on Saturday they sent me the lineup. Like the, yeah. It's like f- three, four songs, five songs. Then it just said Capella Gray. So I FaceTime Fabio. I said, yo, we bringing Capella Gray out. He said, yeah, we going to go crazy. We're going to make a movie. Yeah. Then the day comes. Yo. No Capella Gray. It was crazy. Yeah. What happened? Why, how we how was, come we, yo, we, we missed Yo, we made it there. We was there. Security was good. Yo, it was pandemonium at Rolling Loud this year. It was crazy. But, but you know what I'm saying? We, we got in, but you just got in a little bit later than the set was supposed to be. But it's all good, though. We still made the connection backstage and all that. So I was still grateful for the experience either way. Was that, that wasn't your first time in Miami, though, was it? Not my first time in Miami. Um, my first time at Rolling Loud or any kind of right like, real stadium event like that. So that was dope. Was it your first time in Miami with a hit record? <laughs> Cause it was you was moving around a little different this time. Yeah. Um. I mean, we had Gallus, but this was this is early. This is like what March. This is before. Yeah, this is even before a deal or anything. This is just straight like this is when Gallus was in its earlier stages. So this time coming around. Yeah, Crazy. We did live in another club. It was, it was a lot going on. Right, because every club now you pull up to, they passing you the mic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of love, man. A lot of love, and and we was in a club with Mary J, which yeah. is a is a Yo. big deal. We kept it cool because I got in there first. I was like, ah, it's Mary, but we gonna be cool. <laughs> and I watched Capella walk up. He was he's cool with it. They introduced him to Mary. I said, oh yeah, he he keeping it cool. <laughs> but inside, be honest. Yeah, no, Did I you was, feel yeah, like no, me? I was bugging. Yeah, me and Mary J. Blige, you shit me. That was that was. I'm sorry, but yeah, it was, that was crazy. That was that was. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's certain that people dope. that you run into, or you meet, that just it's a whole different vibe. Yeah. I even told her, I said, yo, we gotta get Mary on the on the remix too. Everyone's doing the remix. We yeah. need the Mary remix. And she, I mean, she actually from the nah, she's from Yonkers, so that right. was that was especially dope for me. It was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? She from for me nine one four as well. That's dope. Right. As, for someone who's really like musically inclined, who who's some of the artists that inspired you, you know, um, when, when it, making music? It varies for real, cause it it ranges from like Dipset to Charlie Wilson to mm. Fifty Cent to Ty Dolla Sign to like it, it just really ranges. Right. So there's not one era or one sound that. Yeah, nah. Cause I I'm a musician, so I get insp- I I get inspired by all different eras of music and different styles of music and all that. So. Is there anyone that's reached out so far that you've been surprised? Like, oh shit, they know they know who I am now. Any artists that you know? Because we're gonna talk about the thousand remixes that are, are done, um, right? But anyone that just said, "Yo, I'm, I'm I'm rocking with you" or "Good song," and you was like, "Oh shit, yo, look who it is." All of them, you can't even <laughs> name one without naming them all. But just to name a few, just from like the A Boogies to the mm-hmm. Busta Rhymes to the French Montanas to the. Dream Dolls, and just every like everybody was just tuning in. It was just a really dope feeling that because I'm new, I'm, I'm the new kid on the block, so right? Just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a good feeling that they're embracing me how they have have been in this run so far. And then of course on the Caribbean side, you know, oh, to have someone like Cranium yikes. do it Cranium, too. Cranium, Jada Kingdom, yeah, it's 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 getting crazy internationally right now. It's it's it's, it's definitely a dope feeling. <laughs> Nah, it, right. listen, you, I think you're in the best place right now because you can't do anything wrong, right? Because you're still on the, the rise of it. So yeah, I mean, you definitely can make a wrong move, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just grateful to be around um, a good team and stuff like that. So even if I like stumble or whatever like that, they keep me on track and everything. So they keep me hungry. Right. Even though there's a lot going on, we still got to have tunnel vision. We still, this is, this is, this is way bigger than just Gallus. We mm-hmm. got, you know what I'm saying? We trying to, like, we building an empire for real. We, we trying to, change music we trying to push the culture forward so well now but before the artist capella gray there was producer capella gray because mm-hmm. there was a point i think you was putting artists together you had like a girl group right at one point yeah, <laughs> yeah I had, um, Pro- producing like artists yeah i had put together a girl group i was managing other artists i was just trying i was just on the behind the scenes type of thing i was producing and writing for people i was just like i was that was just my main thing being right behind the scenes, that was the focus at that time right 
So just writing, you know what I'm saying, get records from people and stuff. But now I, t- I decided to take a chance on myself, and it's been working out. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like this has worked out the best out of everything you've done so far? Yeah, I'd say so. What what so what happened with the girl group? It was just like it's too much going on. It's um like I working mean, with artists compared to doing it yourself. Do you feel like it's a lot easier just to It's just yeah, it's just a lot easier period to to um to be the artist, especially cuz I'm producing, I'm writing, I'm engineering, I'm doing all this myself. So as soon as I have an idea, I can just lay it down. I don't have to worry about trying to write it for the to fit somebody's cadence or right. their singing style or write from their perspective or anything like that, I could just rock or write exactly how I talk, so mm. it's, and I could write arrange the harmonies exactly how I want them to be, arrange the melodies, everything. So right, it's just it's just a lot easier now for me now. So, yeah. It's like yo, I, I know what I want, so I know what I'm gonna do. That's it. <laughs> mm. And you ain't gotta deal with no personalities and no. No, none of that. I don't got no. Yep. But but this is all under the. The team, like this, is all under Alpac. Yeah, Alpac, the family, ATF. So that's that's the gang. That's the, that's the team. That's the collective. Um, is there other artists currently under the umbrella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a couple. Of, y'all about to see. It's about to be a whole rollout. Y'all about y'all about to so see. So we gonna get a crazy. whole like mixtape dropping. Trust me, it's a lot going on. Y'all about to see. We about to change everything. We about to push the culture forward in a whole different way. We about to bring that whole vibe back to New York City music and just just hip hop. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying y'all about to see how we do it. Gallus is just the beginning. That just opened the door. That's it. And this is just, remember, this is just a, this is just a R and Gallus is an R and B freestyle. It's not even a buck fifty. Yes, please. Thank you for breaking it down because it's hard to, you know, and and I'm sure for you, you love it that people can't box it in and say, yo, this is a hip hop record, or this is a reggae record. Mm-hmm. I, I know you as an artist, you love the fact that it's like, it is whatever you hear yeah, is what it is. Of, for a lot of my music, it could be in, you could you could put my music in a lot of different sets. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we be outside for us, so it's like we making music that's gonna move. It's gonna move the city, you know what I'm saying? We, like I said in another interview, I'm trying to get people off the walls. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying stop to stop standing around. Yeah, get catch a vibe. That's everything. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, that's what we are. Now, two things I feel like really pushed Gallus was the dancers, right? The the dancing kids that do all the dances, and then the Instagram models that have been going crazy with the record. So correct me if I'm wrong. What do you think really took it to the next level? Um, so I'll definitely say that the Lifey community, um, even in particular, they were really instrumental in helping, um, Gallus get to where it's at. But, like, even as, as soon as Gallus dropped, like, even locally, like, how the shows were showing so much love, right. and they were just, like, making their little videos to it, and just, like, because Gallus happened, like, it was really organic, we didn't put no, like, initial big bread into it, we didn't do no extra... There's mm. still no viral challenge. There's no hashtag still. There's no gallus challenge. There's no none of that. It's just straight vibes. So people putting each other on. So like, I feel like the city just kind of, the city just kind of moved it by itself, just on just on a support tip. So between the dancers and just like not even just the IG models, I'm talking about just locally, just, yeah, just all just the, the all people, the five, the everybody, yeah, just the people, just the city. Period. Just just sharing it and just supporting. Like it was crazy how how, how gallus just organically went crazy like that. And it's still growing. It's still early. Like yeah, we're just getting started. We just still people in, in in other cities that still haven't even heard it. They just right. hearing Gallus. So we just, remember, we, yeah, we just getting started. The remix of them just started. We just shot the video. Come on, we, we it's, like it's about the it's, it's not just looking like Gallus. I'm just looking like yeah, the Gallus now. Now, cause you're talking real spicy on it, and it's called Gallus. Has the the DMs increased tremendously? Yeah, it's been a lot of you know, yeah, traffic. Let's, let's, now, talk it, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of crazy now. You know, it's a lot of new supporters. Are you responding yeah. to these new supporters, <laughs> or are you just like? Oh, um, man. when I can, because I'm not gonna lie, it's a zoo right now. But when I <laughs> when I can, like when I have time and stuff like that, be on my phone, go through the messages, the questions, stuff like that. I, like if you see, me, like I, I I try to repost as much as I can when they tag and show love. Um, when they're like, I, I try to say all my thank yous, I appreciate. Right, it. right, right. To, you know, say interact as much as I can. Um, it's not easy, but you know what I'm saying. We, we, I'm not just talking about the fans. I'm talking about you know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't. There's a lot of support. Yeah, I'm not. Got gonna, you. Uh, so we're gonna leave it like that. Yeah. It's, Shout it's, to it's all a, the support. Yeah, we vibing responsibly. It's just a, you know what I'm saying. It's a lot going. On. Vibing responsibly. Yeah, we vibe responsibly. Yeah. That's the vibe right there. Yeah, that's it. You guys came up with that. Yeah, that's that's Alipac. That's Alipac. Yeah. What what what's the theory behind it? It's like let's yeah, have yeah, fun, no. but let's not let's put the business first. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I, well, yeah, business first. We, 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 it's just, like, we don't catch a vibe, but, you know what I'm saying? We gonna make sure that, you know, we still cross them T's, you know what I'm saying? Dot them I's. We still take care of responsibilities. We, we still make sure that we're not overdoing what we don't need to overdo. we not, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, under, you know what I'm saying? We just making sure that, you know what I'm saying? It's equi- a balance. Yeah, a little equilibrium in the vibe. You know well, what I'm saying? W- w- what's the perfect vibe uh, for, for Capella Gray? <laughs> what, what, what's a vibe for you? Like what do you enjoy? Cause I, I don't get the. You don't really like to be in the big club with a bunch of people. I don't get that type of vibe from you. It's so crazy, cause like, it varies for real. Cause like I'm not just um, it's not just one. Like it's not just one type of you know what I'm saying. You know, vibe for me. Like I'll I'll be outside and we'll be the life of the Alpac. We'll turn out. We'll be the life of the party everywhere we go. Is you know what I'm saying? We bring that energy. But then you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I just want to just chill. Just yeah. So it, de- it depends, depends on the type of mood you're yeah, in. Yeah, it just depends. What? what what type of mood was Miami? Like Um I varied as well because it was <laughs> cause we was outside, we was moving around, you know what I'm saying? We was doing exploring in Miami, but you know what I'm saying? Was sometimes we had to, you know what I'm saying, just chill, just hold a mess, just Right. You know what I'm saying? Just re recollect our thoughts, make sure everything is right, you know what I'm saying? We gather, you know what I'm saying? And then go back a while again, but you gotta catch the vibe. Vibe is constant. High 97, Capella Gray in the building, a new movement. Yeah. It's probably the biggest tune in New York City. How, does that put any pressure on you when? No. We come alive in the fourth quarter. Like, stuff like this, 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 this excites us because I know that there's so much more that we have in store. We're just glad that Gallus is just opening the doors that it has because the, the other stuff right. that we have coming, it's, it's, it's going to be a good decade. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like you was already prepared for this type of look. You know what I'm saying? This type of opportunity. I feel like. You guys were already just waiting on it. Something like that, yeah, basically. Because you said it's been like a decade you've been doing this. Yeah, but I mean, I was doing I was doing music for a decade, but I was trying to like, in terms of like ooh, the success of this right now, me being the artist, this wasn't like, I didn't even know that it was going to be like this. I didn't know how I was going to mm. get on or, how, or how, whatever. I just know that I had passion for music, period. So however I got on, whether it was writing, singing whatever it was you know what i'm saying we were prepared for it, however because we just wanted to do music period this is where our passion was at so yeah now that we here you know what i'm saying we're here it's a movie now yeah so what if some of the artists like from the town right that was around you and they asking now like yo how'd you do it is there a secret is there a formula what like how do you respond to that yeah because i mean not really just be you to be honest because like the way that I see it, there's really no rules to this. And we kind of proved that with Gallus. You know what I'm saying? If the music is dope, it's going to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? And and that's really... <laughs> what did you say? What, what, what'd you say? Don't listen. Just do you. Thank God we ain't listening. <laughs> nah, it's... Yeah, basically. You know what I'm saying? We, could, you, we, we, we There's something to learn from everyone and everything. But, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But, but do you. Be you and be confident in what you want to do. And that's now out of all the remixes, do you have a favorite one so far? Um, nah, everybody went crazy for different reasons. He's he's politically correct. I like I like. Nah, but it's for real. Like there's certain remixes that's gonna go crazy in certain regions. There's certain that's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's uh, different people brought different flavor. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm just grateful that everybody tapping in and embracing us how they have. Cause there's probably some you didn't hear. Like I, you know, the young boy T.J. Porter did one. I don't know if you heard that one. I heard, I heard it first. He went crazy on that one. How about like Busy Banks? You heard that I one? I heard that one first too. He went crazy on that. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. These are they like really tapping in and really showing love. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like building relationships. We getting the studio tapping in. We building on way further than than Gallus. This is this this. I'm telling you, we ushered in a whole new era of hip hop. We got to see the unity in hip hop. Watch how, watch I love how we it. do it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And we got a. Is there a project coming now? Yeah, it is, the tape we soon drops. A couple more singles dropping. You know what I'm saying? We just getting started. All all the songs on the project done already. Nah, we still. Cause you know what's crazy? I really like. We love this music stuff so much. We in the studio like every day. Mm. So it's like. It's it's just in the work. <laughs> I feel like we probably not gonna be done until the deadline. Like we we just always working. There's always a new story to tell. There's always a new you know what I'm saying. So yeah. so yeah, when, I still get it though. Some drop. When there is a a new record, who's like in the room picking it? Like I right, that that's that one's going on the album. Is there like the gang? 
So e- everybody in here, pretty of, much. Of course, every, the gang. I was like, the and, they A and R in the project at this yeah, point. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I trust, I trust the opinion, the opinions of 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 my friends because they're not. It's not even like I'm just pulling up with just some people. That's you know what I'm saying. That just been around. It's more right. than just loyalty. They're really nice at what they do. Like, I really am surrounded by like really talented individuals, so I trust their opinion. So I know. When we're in the rooms and we have to situate, all right, cool. What well, what song goes fourth? What what song goes after track five or whatever like that? I trust, you know, what I'm saying that they're gonna give unbiased opinions and what's gonna be, you know, what I'm saying best for the project. And, and you trust them enough to, to rock with them. So was it a collaborative decision to put out Gallus? No, nah, or was it just one, fun? Like yo, just drop it. No, nah, that one was I wouldn't say spur of the moment, but I was just inspired to drop it at that time, and I'm glad that I moved with. Nice. And, and we glad you did too, because yeah. I feel like I love like seeing artists, especially from the town, mm-hmm. keeping it going, keeping that energy going. Yes, sir. And I think it motivates everyone else. Like, yo, let's it go. It does. I'm, that's but, another thing I'm really grateful for: the opportunity to inspire the city how we have been, and we just get it started. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, most likely to get out here. Capella Gray in the building, Hot 97, the new movement. Any any shout outs? Any last words for the city before we break up? Um. Yeah, shout out to Alipac, the family. Shout out to New York City. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, hip hop because we about to turn everything upside mm. down. It's a movie. We here. Will Will we see Capella Gray at Summer Jam this year, August twenty second? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Get a ticket. It's, it might ticket, be a possibility. You know what I'm saying? Just get a ticket. Because now he he's making a lot of friends. He got a lot of features, and Summer Jam is right around the corner. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at Summer Jam for sure. Right. I, I know you're gonna be on the reggae tip, the the reggae concert for High 97. You're already reggae booked. Concert, word. yeah. You probably don't even know. You're already on it. <laughs> the name is on it. The marketing, and the promotion. Word. But th- that that's later. I think that's like September. But mm. Summer Jam is right around the corner, Capella Gray. I think I think we need you on that stage. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be at Summer Jam. We go, we all gonna be at Summer Jam. I don't want to get York another City, set list. Be out to Summer Jam. You know what I'm saying. I want another set list and it says Capella, and then he don't show up. He gotta be there this time. You know, we all out to Summer Jam. You know what I'm saying? We support High 97 and all that. So everybody be out to Summer Jam. There it is. High 97, a new movement. Capella Gray in the building. Introduce the song. The biggest song in New York City. Yeah, this is my new my new song, Gala's Going Crazy in This City. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Bow. <laughs>